Christians around the world and many non-Christians are outraged because the Republic of Turkey has announced that Hagia Sophia will once again be converted into a mosque. Christians are angry. Christians are upset. But not me. I always look on the bright side. I focus on the positive, not on the negative. When life throws Islam at me, I make myself a nice tall glass of Islamonade. In this video, I'm going to explain why the reconversion of Hagia Sophia into a mosque isn't as bad as you might think. But first, since many viewers may not know much about Hagia Sophia or its significance in Christian history, here's a quick review of the current conflict. The Church of Hagia Sophia was built between 532 and 537 AD, although various structures had to be modified over time. Construction was ordered by the Roman Emperor Justinian I. It was built in Constantinople, the capital of the Byzantine Empire, a city named after Constantine the Great. For many centuries, Hagia Sophia was the largest cathedral in the world, and for a while it had more interior space than any other building on the planet. There were numerous mosaics depicting Jesus and Mary and other figures in the church, and a vast array of Christian relics were housed there. Hagia Sophia was the seat of the Archbishop of Constantinople, the spiritual leader of the Eastern Orthodox Church, and it was the main house of worship for Eastern Orthodox Christians until Constantinople was conquered by Muslims in 1453. While the city was under siege, women, children, the sick, the elderly, and the wounded took refuge in Hagia Sophia. Once the Muslims captured the city, they battered down the door of the church, killed many of the sick, elderly, and wounded, took the women as sex slaves, and enslaved the children. The church was converted into a mosque, the relics were destroyed, the mosaics were either destroyed or plastered over, and minarets were eventually added. Hagia Sophia was a mosque until 1931, when it was shut down by the secular Turkish government. The Republic of Turkey uncovered the Christian mosaics, and reopened Hagia Sophia as a museum in 1935. It was a museum for 85 years until Turkish President Erdogan announced that Hagia Sophia was once again a mosque. Naturally, Muslims gathered outside and began shouting, Allahu Akbar. Tonight, some of his supporters took to the streets to celebrate the verdict. But the fear now is that the decision will sow the seeds of acrimony between Christians and Muslims, with the conversion of a magnificent unifying symbol into a potentially divisive one. Am I upset? Not one bit. Look on the bright side. Muslims will never again be able to pretend that they respect other religions. Muslims will never again get to complain that we're disrespecting their religion or their book or their prophet. Think about it. Islam's holiest sites were taken from other religions. The Kaaba was a pagan shrine surrounded by pagan idols. Muslims conquered Mecca, smashed the idols to pieces, and made it the heart of Islamic worship. The heart of Jewish worship for 3,000 years has been the Temple Mount, in Jerusalem. After conquering the city, Muslims built the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Jews have to pray at a nearby wall. For centuries, the heart of the Christian world was Constantinople, and the heart of Christian worship was Hagia Sophia, one of the most spectacular buildings ever constructed. The building was dedicated to the holy wisdom of God. But holy wisdom of God here isn't referring to God's wisdom in some generic sense. In 1 Corinthians 1.24, the Apostle Paul calls Jesus the power of God and the wisdom of God. They named the church Hagia Sophia in honor of Jesus, the wisdom of God. Muslims conquered the city and converted the church into a mosque. And now they've converted it into a mosque once again. So Muslims pray and worship at places that were centers of worship for Christians, Jews, and pagans. They treated Hindus the same way. Muslims constantly demand respect for their religion when they offer no respect in return. Every Islamic prayer in Hagia Sophia is a slap in the face to Christians. Every Islamic prayer in the Al-Aqsa Mosque is a slap in the face to Jews. To you Muslims who are watching, I'll say this. 
After 14 centuries of seizing other people's places of worship while shouting Allahu Akbar, you have lost the right to demand respect for your religion. Don't come complaining to me next month when season two of Muhammad's Boom Boom Room starts. Don't complain to me about how the Jews took your land when the land you prey on was taken from Christians and Hindus and every other group your armies encountered while trying to conquer the world. Your places of worship are monuments to your colossal hypocrisy. Thank you for reminding us of that yet again. We won't forget this time. As for everyone else who's watching, if you're upset that a museum that was once the main Christian church in the world has been converted yet again into a mosque, I encourage you to use that energy in a positive way. Here are some videos to share. When Muslims complain that you're hurting their feelings by sharing these videos, remind them about Hagia Sophia and give them a quick introduction to the concept of consistency.